I'm Sarah. I'm David. I'm Michael. I'm Chelsea. And we did our marketing plan and project on the men's soccer team here at Towson. So our first thing is we have a video to show you. Despite receiving more than a $500,000 payout for its football team hanging tough against the LSU Tigers this weekend, tonight Towson University has announced a proposal to cut two Division I sports at the school, cuts that would save the school hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. 11 News reporter Kyrie has more on what's being dropped and what's being added. Bear athletic fields could be in Towson University's future if the athletic director's recommendation to cut men's soccer and baseball is approved. We were kind of blindsided by this. We caught up with two baseball players just minutes after they were told that the upcoming season could be their last. I'm extremely angry and frustrated. It's just physics out of our hands, taking from us for no reason. The proposal to drop the two sports is mostly about saving money and staying in line with federal athletic guidelines, according to athletic director Mike Waddell. He says the cuts would save the school more than $800,000 a year. Why baseball and soccer? We have seven men's sports, three sports, men's basketball, lacrosse, and football were sports that we felt like were central to our mission. And the, the sports of baseball and soccer had both the participant count and also the financial attachment to scholarships and operating budget to where their impact could help us achieve more of the overall broad-based goals. Under the proposal, the school would bring back the tennis program and add scholarship funds to other men's and women's sports. Within hours of the announcement, a St. Towson soccer and baseball Facebook page was up with more than 1,500 members. We want to just find another way. Assistant soccer coach and former player Billy Child says that supporters are already organizing and hoping to fight the recommendations. Hopefully we can gather enough voices and kind of voice our opinion and just kind of just say that, you know, obviously we'd like things to be different and hopefully they, they're not finalized yet. If approved, the cuts will go into effect after the 2012-2013 season and current athletes will be able to stay under scholarship. But juniors Hunter and Dominic say that if baseball doesn't stick around, they won't either. And I would play this year for our team, and we'd all stick together. But um, after that, you know, I would yeah, obviously I wouldn't stay here. In Towson, Kai Reed, WBAL, TV 11 News. A final decision on those proposed cuts will be made in mid-November. Okay. So, as said in the news broadcast, and... Um, uh, Towson University Athletics Department is trying to undergo a reorganization in the department. So in September of this year, Towson announced that it had plans to reorganize the athletics department due to the possibility of financial instability. Um, this announcement actually came three days after a paycheck of $510,000 coming to the university because of the LSU Towson football um, game that was nationally televised. So under the reorganization, they would discontinue the men and baseball teams. Um, they would extend roster spots in some sports, um, including five women's sports, and then they would reinstate men's tennis since its departure of the university in 2004. So um, through men's soccer and baseball, a total of 65 male athletes would lose their sport, but as said, um, they would still maintain their scholarships and are able to stay. So we created um, a more generalized marketing strategy. Um, our idea is called the Tiger Pack, and um, this will be a student-run club organization that will be held on campus. It's going to be the spirit squad of the university. So students are able to sign up and participate and able to go to athletic events and show their support to all athletic events. Um, we would require all students to go to at least two of all sporting events, um, sports teams events. So um, it's a good way for students to become actively involved and um, join the club. So we got our idea from um, Loyola's Dog Pound. They have a similar program. They call themselves the Dog Pound. Um, we spoke to some of their students at a soccer game and our idea kind of stemmed from there. Obviously, it appeals to the students on campus, and as said, it's a social club to get students more involved in Towson athletics. Um, when speaking with different students and interviewing some people, we found that more students are likely to go to a sporting event or event in general 
when they know that their friends or other students will be there as well. student body of Tufts University more involved and attend not only men's soccer games, but also as many sporting events as possible. Um, so why we chose this objective? Um, we did this because of the fact, as we showed in our video, that men's soccer could be cut this year. Um, earlier in the semester, they've um, been threatened to Terminated. We haven't heard a decision yet, so that's why our objective is so broad. Um, with this said, we can use it for any sporting event at here at Towson, um, any games. So how our type of package run? Um, it's completely student reliant. Um, this includes a president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary. And it provides a good resume building opportunity for Towson students by being in one of these high up positions or just being a member of the club. Um, the Tiger Pack is open to any students that want to join. We're focusing on undergrads, but obviously anyone in the Towson community would be allowed to join. So how this idea was created. Um, as we mentioned previously, the Loyola Dog Pound, we met at the uh, Towson Loyola game, and they have this very great sense of camaraderie in their group, and um, I think we all really like that. I want to bring that sort of thing here at Towson. So the marketing presentation. Um, first, we're going to start with our size, and obviously this is open mainly to Towson undergraduate students, which is about 20,000 people, and that's a lot, and obviously we know we aren't going to get that many, but that's a huge group for us to pull from, so it gives us a lot of opportunity. Um, accessibility. We have to make sure that this group is accessible to the group we're targeting. And we think it is just because there's no other group like this at Towson. So it gives us a great opportunity. Um, then measurable and identifiable. And that we think is pretty easy just because we can see how many students sign up and how popular it becomes and how quickly. Um, just continued marketing presentation. The last step in this process is the response, which is much like the previous slide. It's just a sheer numbers thing to see how many students we can get to sign up. Now the demographics. Um, for the most part, undergraduate students are between the ages of 18 and 22, obviously with some younger and some older, but that's our main age group. And then sex, we're marketing to both male and female students. Um, socioeconomic, not really a factor because our club is free. Um, education, everyone is in school already, so their education is the same. Everyone's working on their degree. Um, lifestyle, just that of a typical college student. Obviously, it's most appealing to people who like sports. Um, and then finally, the Tiger Pack is mostly intended for students living on campus just because that's who comes out to the games just because it's it's really close, but it's also for students in the surrounding areas, even commuters. Um, rationale, why we chose this. Um, we want this to appeal to students. Clubs are a great way to decompress from school and school related stressors. Um, so we want we want all students to join, it's not selective. Our core product, uh, the Tiger Pack goals. Uh, the goals are to increase school spirit and unity at TAS athletic sporting events. Um, they also create motivation for other students to join the Tiger Pack and come out and support athletic teams independently. Whether you're in the Tiger Pack or not, we obviously would like everybody to come out, represent TAS and show your school spirit. Um, they also develop chance and manage the display during games and specific events. This helps give the team that's playing, like, they get, like, they sense that they're, like, being shown off in front of the school and they get like prod, uh, product extensions, apparel. Create sweatshirts, sweatpants, t-shirts, and shorts with Tiger Pack logo. This must be done with the correct branding constraints at Towson University or else they not to do it. Uh, they sell the new line of Tiger Pack gear to members and those interested in joining. 
for the students, it provides an outlet for students to become more Basic costs. These costs include design, creation of apparel, hosting events before and after the games, and paying for buses to take the Tiger Pack to away games in the area. The pricing strategy for apparel will create new perceived value through exclusive, exclusivity of the club. Students will want to be a part of the social aspect and to see other people wearing the Tiger Pack logo that will be enticed to buy. This value is created with the increased demand for this product and its extensions. The pricing strategy continued. The focus of the club is not to make profit, but to reap the benefits of the social aspect. Profit maximization takes a backseat to the break-even analysis because the break-even will ensure that the club can afford to go away to gain to continue to create new apparel. Okay. Um, for the place, uh, the place is basically just all athletic venues on campus since we're uh, trying to create a plan to you know, market to all sports, not just soccer. And also, um, we want to take advantage of athletic venues of nearby schools that we might be um, participating in, again, such as Loyola, UMBC, or Maryland. Um, many of the Towson sports programs currently don't have many promotions at all, and that's due to a big lack of funding. Um, for example, like with soccer, when we went to the games, the only promotions that we saw were um, like via microphone, and then the announcer would you know, talk about upcoming football games or upcoming home soccer games and you know, stuff like that. Right. Um, we've been tasked with creating promotions on a limited budget, and one way we would like to do this is by incorporating things such as like pre-game first kicks, pitches, shots, etc. Kind of similar to how they do first pitches in baseball. And basically what we would do for that would be to invite owners from local businesses and sponsors uh, to participate in these first kicks or you know whatever, and have them you know take a little bit of time to explain, promote you know their company, and then we would encourage people from that company you know, that, or the owners to encourage people from that company to bring their employees and their children and all that, and that will help you know not only fill the seats but it will help local businesses promote themselves. Um, continue with that. Uh, we would like to team up with local sponsors such as Caesars Pizza and Buffalo Wild Wings and then run on-field competitions that you see at 